Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Piero. Today we're doing the Ale Storm Captain Morgan's Revenge Cocktail. The Ale Storm is what's basically a combination of two of my favorite things. Heavy metal and pirates. So you have pirate metal. It's something that I heard of in the past, but I never actually sat there and really listened to them until recently. They have some pretty good music. It's Obviously it sounds like pirates because the way he sings it basically sounds like a pirate. Talking about rum, we're talking about drinking, talking about ales, talking about wenches, talking about Captain Morgan. Now, if you hear a song like Captain Morgan's Revenge and you want to create a cocktail based off that, what ingredient do you think of right off the bat? Well, Captain Morgan. And I just recently bought this, the Captain Morgan 1671 Limited Edition Spice Rum. It's really damn good. If you haven't went out and bought this, buy this. It's that good and it's limited edition. You can only get it for so long. I do plan on doing a review down the road. And, and I love their white rum. This is definitely a combination of two rums. It's going to give you a bit of potency and a lot of flavor. And it's Captain Morgan. And what's his revenge? The Grandine. The blood. Because the whole concept was, is a mutiny. They took the his shipmates aside. Well, let's overthrow the captain. Let's throw him in the, in the water. Walk the plank. So they did that. And Captain Morgan put a curse upon them. Said, well, either die or suffer a worse fate. So their fate, they had no joy. They had no plunder. It was all just complete lack of any good pirate life. So their only choice was death. So they grabbed a pint of ale, had a final drink, and then die. So this is the cocktail, Captain Morgan's Revenge. It's going to be a shake and strain. It's going to have a lot, so it's going to be into a large glass. That should be good. Alright. First thing, obviously, your 1671. Friggin' awesome. If you ever had a chance to try it, try it. You will love it. I guarantee it. If you like spice arm, you'll definitely love this. You're taking about an ounce and a half of that. Since this is going to be your primary flavor additive. And you want to take one ounce of the Captain Morgan white rum. You can use any white rum, but it's a Captain Morgan's Revenge. Stay with Captain Morgan, and you won't be disappointed. This is great. Now I'm going to do four ounces of orange juice. This is kind of, in a sense, a tiki style drink because you're bouncing out the alcohol. But it's a pirate because you're using Captain Morgan. So you're doing four ounces of this. Then we'll take Demerara syrup, which I actually made using. Pure cane sugar, uh, unrefined, and you want to take that to about equal one one parts in boiling water. Take about half ounce of that. That's a little more, but that should be extra sweet. That stuff is pretty damn good. If you ever had it, you definitely gotta try it. Give that a shake. And I'm wearing it. Yeah, when you shake, make sure you have a good seal. I always do what I did. And this is going to be freaking sticky. Pour that into your glass.
And then you want to just add a splash of branding because this is a revenge Captain Morgan has upon his crewmates. Since they killed him, they all die. There you have it. The Ale Storm, Captain Morgan's Revenge Cocktail. It's actually, very good presentation. Kind of looks like a sunrise drink. Like, if you ever had a voodoo sunrise or just a weather type sunrise, it's a sunrise. But it's actually a very flavorful design. Let's see how it tastes. Whew, man. This adds so much spice to it, different flavors, and you're getting a lot of sweetness and caramel notes, a little bit of molasses from the Demerara syrup. And this adds a nice clean rum flavor to it. So you got the spice rum, a little bit aged to it. You get the clean white rum flavor, a little bit of grinding because you kind of taste that in there. It's not like really potent, but it's there, it's good. And just a lot of citrus notes from the orange juice. It's actually really good. Hmm. It's actually really good. I would definitely suggest get this and trying this this cocktail out. Don't be disappointed. And definitely listen to L Storm because if you like pirates, if you like heavy metal, you can't go wrong. It's pirate metal. You'll love their music. Especially if you have a few uh, pints of rum. Obviously, you want to mix your rum with some water. It has a good grog going on. But definitely enjoy yourself responsibly. And listen to a couple songs of theirs. Check out the Captain Morgan's Revenge. You'll see more on the story of it. When you actually listen to the lyrics, you understand the basis of this cocktail. And you'll definitely enjoy it. And as always, like us on Facebook, the Concept Spirit Cocktails. Like our channel. And I'll put a link below for the L Storm site so you can actually see more on their group, what kind what kind of music they have, tour dates, pretty much anything that you need to know about them. And as always, drink responsibly.